And we are back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a ribbon bar chart in Adobe Illustrator. You can use a basic bar chart to create that but first under view we need the smart guides and only snap to point and I create a rectangle. Size and color doesn't matter now, I use the selection tool and hold alt, drag a copy out of it and then press ctrl d two times so I've cut four of them. I use basic swatches to recolor them. The next step is to use the basic column graph chart. And then we need some values. Let's just assume we've got our social media companies again. I'll make it four. And I give them some values. It's just random. Let's just say 65, 55, 45, and 35. And then I confirm it. You can see my bars, they are, they have the perfect size, so they are positioned next to each other. And it's because I've got 100% for the column and the cluster width. By default it should be 80, so just right click on it, type and then change it to 100 like I did here. And it should be fine. Select it all, then go to object and ungroup it. There's a warning message, just confirm it and ungroup it further. So now we can get rid of the legend, we don't want to have that. I can get rid of the stroke, we don't need it. And I'll get rid of the numbers. And now I use the eyedropper tool and the selection tool, I press V and I to switch between them. And I give my bars the four colors that I've got. Now I use the type tool to type in the values, so 65, 55, 45, and 35. I'll just do that for the first one, then I use the selection tool and hold Alt and drag a copy out of it, and then I press Ctrl D two times. I press T for the type tool and I change the values. I'll add a little line segment on top as a divider. And I give it a black stroke. Or maybe the black color is not the best. Let me add a gray color for now. I might change that in the end once more. Now we use the pen tool. Just go to the anchor points. And then upwards and the smart guides indicate when you've reached the center to create a triangle. Make sure it's selected. Get rid of the stroke and add as a fill color the color of the bar. We can use the eyedropper tool as well, so press I for that. We still got a scaling in the background, so we need to address that later. It's invisible as I've taken away the stroke, but it's still there. But first, let's add some more triangles. Just use the selection tool and hold Alt again to create copies. And then position them on top of the bars. And then use the eyedropper to eye to give it the colors of the bars. And always press V, which is the short key for the selection tool. All right, now let's get rid of the bar. We can just simply select everything but the bar, drag it to the right and then delete it. So now the rectangles we've created first come into play, just rotate it holding shift, reposition that and then drag it without holding any keys to the right side. Now only select the bottom part and we want to transform it, so use the free transform tool and use the perspective distort. Drag it to the left. And this gives us this nice 3D effect. We're basically done, but we can add a little bit of a shadow gradient 
we can use the appearance menu for that and we'll give it a new fill and add a gradient we will do that for all four shapes it's just a default gradient for now Make sure they're all selected, then go to the gradient menu, go to the left hand side and then decrease the opacity to zero. I'll adjust it slightly, then I use the gradient tool, hold shift when you rotate it to change the direction of the gradient. I need to resize that and reposition it. In the appearance menu you can also set the blending mode and opacity to multiply. It sometimes works well, just try it out. But this is basically it. Well, let me change once more the color of the line segment. I don't like the current color. And this is how you can create this ribbon bar chart in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.